okay, let's see. We have Lynn here. She says, how many dates to know if you have enough chemistry? Assume from a start of some attraction on date one, but if it doesn't grow after three to five dates, I'm thinking it's not going to opinions. Okay, great. Thank you for asking. I hate rules, so you want to play it person by person by person. But if we're going to give you a, a guideline, a, something to work with here, three dates, at, at least three dates. Now, w before I say three dates, if on that first date you are repulsed or you're looking at this guy going, he and I do not have enough material to go longer than three weeks, then don't bother. But if he's just not quite your type, he's maybe a little shorter than you like, a little balder than you'd like, a little something not quite right, but you like him, he's funny, he brings out the best in you, you respect him, you wish you were attracted, that's the guy that you give a chance to. That's the guy you give a couple of dates to. And in fact, I had the experience of seeing someone on match and oh, I was so excited about him because he was different than everybody else. And I loved his profile and I knew this could be the one, right? And we got on the date and right when I saw him, I didn't like him. I didn't like him. Mm -hmm. And I was so bummed out because he looked so good on paper just so good on paper, but it was dinner. So I was stuck. All right, whatever. And we ended up having a really mediocre dinner, but then we went on a little urban hike and had this really great little date that I thought at the end of, Oh, I'd be friends with him. He actually is the guy in the profile, but just not my flavor. Mm -hmm. And by, and I just said yes, cause I was bored for the second date. And by the end of the third date, we were, it was three in the morning. We were sitting in his car in front of my parking garage where my car was and we couldn't leave each other. I flipped it. It flipped. And Michelle talked about it earlier. It doesn't happen very often, but about 20, 30% of the time they can grow on us. Um, but you got to give them enough of a chance. So three, four or five dates, if it's been a couple of months. And the one thing you have to be really careful about is if you're trying to give him a chance and he's not growing on you, you got to be honest with yourself because what will happen is you'll be talking to your girlfriends about it and they'll get really excited for you and they'll say, oh, God, finally a great guy. He's treating you like a queen. And then this guy starts to fall in love with you. And then all of a sudden it's three months later or five years later and you've been with somebody who he never grew on you, but the pressure that you felt from your girlfriends and from his attraction for you, the pressure was too intense that it was really hard to break up. I know a woman who married a man because she didn't know how to break up. Mm -hmm. never yeah, and a couple of things I just want to add to this piece. Uh, we, obviously, Wendy and I want you to have attraction. Attraction is absolutely important. And having that physical attraction is important to women and it's important to men. It's just that it sometimes develops differently as we talked about earlier. However, this is the point I wanted to emphasize. We have to be careful with attraction because I can tell you the man I was most attracted to in all of my decades of dating was an absolute mismatch for me I mean, we were a complete and total disaster together. It was a nightmare. But I'll tell you what, when this man kissed me, my toes would curl. I felt like I was going to faint. I mean, my attraction to him, and he was totally different from, my attraction to him was off the charts. He was totally different than any man I'd ever dated. He was literally like the tall, dark, handsome bad boy. And that was totally not the type of guy that I'd ever gone for before. But I'm telling you, the attraction, I was just, it was overwhelming. However, together, you know, when we, when we dated and as we started going into a relationship, it was a nightmare. We were just terrible for each other. We were so mismatched. So we have to be careful with attraction and not make that the end all be all only criteria that we're looking at. Yes, it's important, but what I've found for myself and for most of my clients is things that start out more like that slow burn and then turn into the forest fire rather than starting out as the forest fire are a lot more likely to go the distance because I can just tell you 
that was just a nightmare. And I had a terrible time unraveling myself from it because I was so like addicted to him from a, you know, from an attraction standpoint, I, I just found him so irresistible, even though it was a complete nightmare um, in every other way. <laughs> I'm smiling so hard because it's true that chemistry and attraction doesn't have anything to do with a happy life. And I was smiling so hard because I have had, and it's just embarrassing to say it, but I have had a 30 year plus attraction for someone who is probably one of the worst human beings I know on the planet. He's just such a <laughs> jerk. <laughs> He's not a good person in the world. And I just think that my body is betraying me every single time I see him and get Twitterpated. And I just, I get Twitterpated and then I immediately I'm grossed out. I've grossed myself out. <laughs> but I just to piggyback on what you said, my, my chemistry for my, my partner is really strong. So when I met him, it was really, really strong. But the reason it worked is because we had chemistry and compatibility. And the piece that you always have to watch for is, can I be myself with him? You know, I had such high chemistry for my partner, Dave, that when I met him, I thought, at first glance, I thought, oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm never going to be able to be myself with him. And I'm never going to be able to hold a boundary with this one. He's so hot. But there was something in that we had a very short sort of meet and greet date. There was something about who he was being in that first date that was so easy breezy that he was so curious and interested in who I was. And it was totally fine to be exactly who I was. If I was a hot mess, it was fine to be a hot mess. He was, he was there. He had the space, the capacity to hold it all. Who are you, you interesting, weird person? And I was in, I was like, okay, we're doing this. So it, so to be able to say, we're doing this, we're having this date, and I'm going to be exactly who I am, and I'm going to tell a really bad story that you probably shouldn't tell on a first date, and, and I'll laugh too loud and do all the things. If he's the right person for you who can hold the space for it, it it's all going to turn out. Mm -hmm. if, he's not, if he's not, he's not, right? Yeah. Attraction can be there, but you absolutely have to be able to have it be easy and be yourself also. And that can be the real tricky part. Yeah, and I think the danger about this, uh, to use that word, um, is if we put so much emphasis on attraction that that is kind of like what we're looking for because it can be really intoxicating and really exciting, is it can also cause us to overlook major red flags. Like with this guy that I told you about that I was so attracted to, mm -hmm. I overlooked so many big red flags that it wasn't even funny. And a lot of times when I'll ask women um, that I'm talking to about uh, relationships that have ended in heartbreak or pain or that sort of thing, oftentimes they have started out with that really magnetic attraction. And, and I'll sometimes ask them, you know, were there early warning signs that some of this might be coming down the pike? And in almost every case, they'll say, yes, you know, but the attraction was so strong or I liked this, how I felt so much that I kind of, you know, ignored those. I even had one lady say, uh, yeah, there were more red flags than in the Chinese Communist Parade, which I thought <laughs> was a pretty w funny way to say it. Yeah. So that's, you know, of course, attraction is important. You know, we want that for you and we know you want that. It's important to women as it is for men but uh, we just have to kind of be careful with that. Okay, let's see, Wendy. Let's see if we can... Uh, How's the light? Is it okay? My light changed, so... Oh, yeah. Not, right? It's all right? Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, I know we're live, but I'm just checking on the light for the people. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> this is a funny question. Yeah. Uh, KH, two dates with a very nice man, easy conversation, polite, interesting, but uh-oh, sloppy, icky kisser. <laughs> How to deal with that, please? <laughs> yeah. So are you willing to be as vulnerable as to be honest about that? I mean, it might be the next kiss or it might be, you know, another date or two later where you say, hey, um, can I tell you how I like to kiss? Can I show you how I like to kiss? Instead of saying you're a bad kisser, I would make it about me. Here's how I like it instead of you're doing it wrong. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. yeah, I wish I would have known this earlier in my life because I remember this man I dated in college and I really, really liked him. But when he kissed me, it was like he would press so hard. It felt like he was going to push my teeth out. You know, he would just push so hard. He was like a really hard kisser. And I didn't enjoy it at all. And I didn't know what to do with that. You know, I mean, it's, I'm like 18, 19 years old at this point. And it was definitely one of the reasons why I didn't, you know, continue dating him because it was just so awkward. It was just, it was yucky kissing. So yeah. I, I love that. I love that approach, Wendy. That was beautiful. And if you can slip a little compliment in there ahead of time without being disingenuous, please do. Like, I really love spending time with you. And can I show you something that I like even better or something like that? So it's, so how, where you're coming from is you're winning with me and let's make it even better instead of we need to fix this problem. Thank you.